again welcome to the Star Property Talks. Our speakers for this session is Mr. Leon Lee, the CEO of Zio Properties. Mainly Mr. Zio is the founder of Zio Computers Malaysia Sanibar Hub. He is also the founder of Home Touch Solutions Sanibar Hub and also he is in touch with the corporate IT solutions provider for MNCs and also government sectors. Mainly servicing clients such as Osram, IJM, AirAsia, Tune Hotel, LG Electronics, Rolls Royce International, CIME Bank, and also etc. In the meantime, Mr. Leon also involved in a lot of uh, charity works and he managed to get his devotional service medal Malaysia and also he is the vice chairman of the Penang Chinese Chamber of Commerce Youth, the chairman of Penang Young Entrepreneur Association of Malaysia the Chairman of Business Network International Success Chapter, the Chairman of Junior Chamber International United Penang, and also the Founder and Organizing Chairman of First Top 50 Enterprise Award Malaysia. So ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome Mr. Zioli. Um, good evening everyone. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Uh, All right, uh, today is actually a very um, casual sections or in between because of uh, a welcome to our this star property fest and uh, today we would like to uh, share with all of you about this uh, infrastructure goes a long way when picking up the best property and first of all maybe i would like to go through uh, some uh, my experience or the past experience in this property line and uh, how i come across uh, to know about it uh, how to choose the best property all right so uh, actually this is our uh, general company, company structures. There are currently uh, Zions, we have our Penang office, KL office, Johor, coming Singapore, Hong Kong, and also China as well. And also we involved in uh, this MM2H. So we know that uh, now today, a lot of people, they are inquiry about MM2H, Malaysia, my second home. All right, uh, we are actually also the partner of uh, this Beijing's uh, channel, Beijing Media or Beijing Tensu Tai oh. We are their partner to market a Malaysia property to Beijing. All right, and also expatriate relocation. For our expat relocation company, we are actually appointed and also one of the appointed uh, expat reload company for our invest Penang means that most of the these um, expatriates when they come to Malaysia, come to Penang Island, all right, they look for our PDC Penang Development Corporation. They look for our invest Penang. Then our invest Penang, they will ally us. They will link us to them. They say, hey, you look for this company expat reload. Then they will help you to get the best uh, property for you to relocate from maybe. Um, from US, maybe from China, from Taiwan, then come to Penang. Sorry, uh, is it okay that I speak English or you want me to speak uh, uh, both languages, English and Chinese? Or oh, English is fine? You want me to speak English or English and Chinese? English and Chinese? English and Chinese? English is fine, so use one language. Alright. And another one, we have this online portal where we actually are doing an online uh, marketing for our property in Malaysia to overseas like Hong Kong, Dubai, Singapore, right? And we manage to uh, market a lot of uh, developers' properties to overseas as well through our online portal. And this is our IT department and our mortgage department. Alright, so this is our Maritime Auto Mall. It's actually one of uh, these uh, uh, icon developments from IJM properties. IJM properties in this Jirotong Express Highway. For those who stay in Penang, you will know that where is this maritime. And this is also another a new concept. You know, we know that in Sprang Pride, there is a auto city. So come to Penang, so we want to build a compact auto city. So we call it Auto Mall. It's an Auto Mall actually. It's Maritime Auto Mall in uh, this uh, Penang Island is actually facing the Penang Bridge. It's very nice view, very romantic. The promenade. I think recently you're you're uh, aware that there is a a a, a Uba 
uh, mascot, Uba mascot is on, on flirt on our this uh, promenade, Zilotong Express, uh, Express Highway promenade and a lot of people because our office is nearby there and our, actually our, our headquarters and then our this auto mall will be started uh, next year when OC obtains from this IJM uh, around March next year and we know that because of the Uba mascot is flirt on the water alright then a lot of people go there take photo even it's raining heavily they're so <laughs> using the umbrella to wash the Uba uh, this mascot and this is some news uh, interview from uh, Kong Wa Yipo. and this is actually a uh, we represent uh, Kong Wa, uh, together partner with uh, Kong Wa Jipo and also our this uh, Malaysia tourism and Malaysia my second home we bring a uh, a four developer to Shenzhen recently on uh, this last two months uh, actually is on May twenty eight uh, the those developer that participate is like uh, MLCB. OSK property, uh, IJM, and also um, another properties. Land and Generous. Oh, it's, it's one of our exhibitors as well, as you remember. All right. So, we are going to the China Shenzhen to promote Penang property because nowadays a lot of people, especially from China, from Singapore, from Hong Kong, they're looking at our Malaysia property. When they're looking at Malaysia property, where they look at for where they're looking for is KL and Penang. If for Singaporean, they are more prefer on a, uh, this is kinda Johor, alright. So this is some uh, awards that's uh, uh, that we received uh, past two months ago. And okay, this is some track record. Uh, we actually represent the uh, MLCB to do the marketing or uh, in Penang and also do the marketing overseas to Singapore as well and also Hong Kong. And uh, this is a uh, mainland Malaysia land property, or oh, we also represent them uh, to do marketing uh, in, in uh, Malaysia, Penang, and also uh, going to Singapore as well. UOA, our Singapore developer, and Bio City, or uh, we also represent them to do marketing in Malaysia and also overseas. This is some of the developer as well, our track record, OSK, Satya, Bellevue, IGM. I can say that we, we experience to represent most of the major developer in Malaysia. To do marketing and in Malaysia and also overseas. All right. So the sound is all the introductions. Now we go about infrastructures. So a lot of people will ask, Hey Leon, when I want to buy a property, you know, normally when we go to the property fair or we go to a, a developer showroom, the a lot of I mean developer they will definitely say that hey my property is the best all right you, you buy from us you know uh, we are the best property that uh, we all in we got this package we got this price and all these things so a lot of customers will ask hey leon so how to ensure how to make sure that the property price can go up easily and are you sure that everyone say that their price can go up everyone say that we got appreciation room you know so beside what they say uh, beside the package beside the price what should we look at what should, should we emphasize on? Uh, this is some of uh, these uh, uh, tips and also uh, sharing regarding the infrastructures where really, really help a lot, especially on the property appreciation or the price going up. Why are they going up? No, doesn't mean that it, uh, if the highway is next to your property, then your property show will go up. You know, sometimes because of the highway next to it, but because of the noisy of the the, the sound, uh, I mean, the jam, the roads, everything that make the property price going down because of they feel no privacy. Alright? So, some example that I would like to share with all of you is okay, this is China, this is Hong Kong. So, you see, this is last time our Shenzhen and Hong Kong China's border. Let us uh, explore some of the price in overseas. Why? Today I will use uh, Hong Kong, I will use uh, Singapore, then uh, Kuala Lumpur, and also Penang Island as a four. Uh, comparison. Why? Because uh, I cannot use uh, I cannot use uh, maybe a uh, uh, Sabah or Sarawak or I cannot use uh, uh, I cannot use uh, like maybe Taiwan. I cannot use a um, uh, Thailand to do comparison. Why? Because we want to know that because now all of us are we are in Penang. Most of us we will choose to buy Penang property or either maybe KL or the best maybe Johor property. All right. So we talk about why I use them as our comparison. Because a lot of a symptom between Penang Island and Singapore Island and Hong Kong Island is the same. Why I say so? When I when I went to Singapore to uh, uh, talk about property.
body, a lot of Singaporeans ask, hey, so uh, when we go to uh, Hong Kong, we now we see the Singapore property is going up a lot, a lot higher. But we go to Hong Kong, we cannot tahan because they go more higher. Alright, because Hong Kong higher than our Singapore. So when we come back to Singapore, we still feel that a Singapore property can buy. But how about if Penang people, we go to Singapore, then we will see Singapore property also very expensive. But when we come back to Penang, we, you see Penang expensive, but you see Singapore more expensive than us. So this is why now today a lot of Singaporeans, they come to Malaysia. Uh, if you local people don't buy, we come to buy. Why Hong Kong people come to Malaysia? Because if you don't buy, we buy. So this is the difference. Alright. So this, for example, you see in this new Sun Kai, uh, new territories of Hong Kong, in the years of 1988, uh, we got about Hong Kong dollars, it's 12,315. It's averaged around 5,000 per square feet ringgit Malaysia, where people really not ex expected. So you know, how come uh, in 1988, Hong Kong is running at 5,000 per square feet? We call it what possible. Uh, Hey, you can check online, you can go you know, online to check Google. Hey, is it 1988 uh, in Hong Kong, Sun Kai? That means it's actually is a, a border in between our Shenzhen and Hong Kong. If they are, they are, they are running and they are selling as 5,000 ringgit per square feet. Okay, we talk about 2002. Just now it's 1988. 2002 is almost another 14 years. So 1,000 square feet in new territory, we thought per square feet is 29,000, almost 30,000 Hong Kong dollar per square feet. Uh, which means almost uh, 15,000 Ringgit Malaysia. Right? Almost, uh, no, 10,000, sorry. Almost 10, 12,000 Ringgit Malaysia per square feet Hong Kong. Alright? Because of the, they are in the midst of construction of the, the bridge in between the Shenzhen and the Hong Kong uh, Sun Kai area. We talk about 2013. Last year, the latest price, conservative price, is actually 75,000 per square feet Hong Kong dollar, which means around 30,000 per square feet ringgit Malaysia. Why? Because 2013, everything is ready. The infrastructure is ready. So from 2013 to 1988 and 2002, the years difference is almost a 12 year difference and 15 years difference all right this is why this is why hong kong people they say when i come to malaysia i see your property i when i come to Penang island when i come to singapore i see your property high pan not high pan so uh, uh very cheap very cheap we can't find we can't find in singapore we want to buy more we want to buy more not only buy one buy more this is why this is why hong kong people because in hong kong can you imagine last month i went to hong kong I went to attend a, a, a marketing a show together with a, a networking with all the Hong Kong's uh, uh, property marketing people. Then what they say, they say, hey, five, ten years ago in Hong Kong, for one property we can flip 20 times. One property we can flip 20 times. In how many years? Three years time. One property in Hong Kong can flip 20 times. How about Penang? Never happened before. Singapore? Not yet happened. Alright. So, this, this story tells us what? A. What is the similarity of Hong Kong, Singapore and Penang? We are actually almost the same. So today, this is maybe uh, 15 years of Penang, maybe, or maybe 30 years of Penang in future. Alright? So we talk about this uh, construction of Shenzhen Bay Bridge we linked to the Hong Kong. Shenzhen Bay, Sang Chan Wan, if going up 50%. And 2013, when we go 75,000, what I mentioned just now, is actually 155%. From 2002, 1998, 2002, then 2013. So this is the difference. So this is how important an uh, infrastructure can contribute to the uh, property appreciations or to our, I mean, the, the property that we're going to invest. Right, so this is some uh, infrastructures, you know, this is a uh, uh, Samtan, the uh, circle, or this is a uh, Tun Lam Lam Tei. Last time, this is actually, let's out from uh, one of our analysts told us, hey Leon, Hong Kong, huh? he told me, Leon, you know, when, last time, uh, 20 years ago, this is like our Bali Pulau, you know, nothing one. So because of 
this bridge, San San Wan, Gong Lo Dai Kyu, because of this San Zheng Bay Bridge, because of this. Then, our bridge, previous construction is almost like this, after 213. So this is why from 29,000 can become 75,000 Hong Kong dollar per square feet. So this is Hong Kong. All right. So this is one of the articles that talk about uh, those people who stay in there, who stay in that area, almost their uh, property price went up more than 50%. And almost 80% of them become uh, 20 million. Yang Chen Wan means 20 million means a uh, 20 million air, no? million air, no? Alright, so you see, those people, they are staying there, they don't know what happened, they, they own a house there, own a property there, hey, but because of this Bay Bridge, because of this Shenzhen Bay Bridge, then help the property price going up, so huge, I mean the, 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 the room, the appreciation. And who can explain this? No one can explain, you know, even we ask those people, even Hong Kong uh, uh, professional or, or this uh, expert in property, they cannot explain, they say, I don't know why. <laughs> because of the environment, because of the way. Uh, so this is how, how important the infrastructure can contribute for property appreciation. Okay, this one in CNN, uh, rank that Hong Kong is the highest of our billionaire properties. I mean, in all over the world. Hong Kong's property is going up very fast and the most fast and most highest appreciation in the world. So after we talk about Hong Kong, then we talk about Singapore. Alright, so Singapore, we know that uh, Woodland, Causeway, uh, recently I went to Singapore almost uh, twice a month along because of uh, we, go, we, we have to go to Singapore to uh, give talk to Singapore people, investors, to tell them why to buy Malaysia property. Then uh, from, from there, they they, they see a lot of these, uh, how to say, uh, advantages and why they want to invest in domination. So we, hope, we talk about this causeway, Johor, Cause, Johor, Iskand, Johor area. This is a Johor Causeway, Midland, Singapore. And beside this one, another area is Second Link Bridge, Tuas Checkpoint and Tanjong Kupang. Alright, so we talk about Lusa Jaya, Tanjong Kupang area. This is Second Link. 1994, Johor. Nusa Jaya. Alright, so this is actually they are selling at the land is 2 ringgit per square feet, 1994. Now it's 201314, almost 20 years. After